didn't play that much, but that's beside the point. But it came to a point where before I was able to put on those colors, before I was able to put on that purple and green uniform, before I was able to lace up those purple and white shoes, before I was able to even have the opportunity to step on the floor or even have the opportunity to sit on the bench and get the chance to play in the game, before that even happened, I had to be the manager first. And being the manager, I had to do some things that I necessarily wouldn't have done if I could have wrote the script for myself. I had to go to the games early, oftentimes arriving before anybody else was even at the arena, getting there before the sun had even fully rised, getting there washing the players' jerseys, getting there laying them out before the game, filming games, carrying bags, just doing just about everything that you could imagine. Of course, there were some days that I didn't want to do these things. There are a lot of times where I was tired, I was exhausted, I was beat, to be honest. But I would have to say that this was probably one of the most humbling experiences of my life. And then going back to the text, as it shows us in Romans 12, though many members but we form one body, Though I was the manager on the team, that didn't mean that I was on a different team. That didn't mean that I was any less than any of the other guys who suited up before me. I was any less of a team member, but we just had different roles. Just really looking at it and understanding, the more that I began to play my role and the more I began to own it and I began to truly understand the position that I was in, if I wasn't able or if I failed to do my job, then they wouldn't even be able to do theirs.